Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to solve this problem, what steps are involved, and then I'll actually go through the process of solving it as well. So we have a bullet hitting a block, which was stationary, and then the bullet and block swing upward to a height of 4.3 centimeters. And so the steps involved, well, first of all, we're going to label, because there's already a diagram there provided, label the diagram. of the block swinging. We're going to write the seven term conservation of energy equation. And then we're going to use that to solve for the initial velocity of the bullet block system. Okay, so this is just for the part from when the bullet was already in the block. From then is that as our initial, and then the final is at the maximum height of 4.3 centimeters. Then we're going to use the V sub i for the above analysis as our Vf for the collision. Then we're going to label the collision diagram. choosing a positive x direction. Then we're going to write the conservation of momentum equation. And then we're going to solve for the initial velocity of the bullet. OK, so those are the steps we're going to use. And now we'll go ahead and do that. So let's check that out. Make sure our problem solving template here, where I have a diagram. This is the one from the packet. And I put a couple of labels in here already. There's a dash line that was already on there. I'll label that as my h equals zero line, which is where the gravitational potential energy is zero. Okay. And to be clear, separate out my two parts here. The final velocity of the momentum of the collision, and that's going to be our momentum analysis, is the initial velocity of when the bullet and block system is swinging upward. So while this is swinging upward, there's, there's nothing that we could easily do with a momentum analysis, but we can very easily do a conservation of energy analysis. So let's look at that. We can say PEGI plus PESI plus KEI plus work by non-conservative forces equals PEGF plus PESF plus KEF. All right, when it swings to its highest point, it is not moving. There's no springs involved, so we can get rid of both of those. When it starts out, it is at the height where the gravitational potential energy is zero. And then as far as work, well, there's tension acting and there's weight. Tension is a non-conservative force. However, the tension is always perpendicular to the displacement for a pendulum. And so the work by non-conservative forces is zero. So our plan is to use this equation and so we can say 1 half mvi squared equals mgh. We can divide both sides by the mass. And so that will come out of our equation. And then we can solve for v sub i. It's going to be equal to the square root of 2gh. So I multiply both sides by 2. 
and then I took the square root of both sides. So v sub i would be equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Remember, g is a scalar. And the height, which I already converted into meters, 0 0.043 meters. And so now I just need to calculate this value. And you can check me on this. We get 0 0.918 meters per second. I have meters squared per second squared. Take the square root of the units as well as the number. And so now this is also equal to VF for the collision. All right, so now I want to look at the collision. And so I can come down here and I can say M. And so usually we use the subscripts like M1, V1I. I'm going to do MB, VBI plus M capital B, B capital B I equals M B B B F plus M B B B F. So that's our conservation of momentum equation. And I know that block wasn't moving initially. I also know that both things were together on the Afterward, it was a perfectly inelastic collision. So I can regroup the right side to look like that. On the left side, I got rid of that one term. So now I want to solve for VBI. So just divide both sides by the mass of the bullet. Oops. Okay, so lowercase b is bullet. Capital B is block. And so now I substitute these in 0 0.010 kilograms plus 3 kilograms times V final. Now remember the V final from the um, collision is the same as the V initial for the pendulum swinging. So we're going to use this value of 0 0.918. And then we divide by the mass of the bullet. So we can do this on our calculator, and you can check me on this as well. We get 276 meters per second. All right, so that's a reasonable value. That's roughly uh, 550 miles per hour double meters per second to get to miles per hour as a rough estimate, but 500 miles per hour or 600 or so miles per hour is a reasonable value for a bullet to be traveling. So that's reasonable. Does it have the correct units? It did not show, but we have kilograms here divided by kilograms, so that cancels, and we get units of meters per second, so the units are correct. The sign of the answer correct. It did come out positive, which is to the right. And so it only makes sense that the bullet was traveling to the right. And that was the only thing that we were supposed to solve for. I do want to emphasize that we could not have just solved using the conservation of mechanical energy from the very beginning to the very end, because there is a perfectly inelastic collision there. And you know, for any inelastic collision, there is mechanical energy loss. So we couldn't just pick one initial and one final. Uh, we could not have gone from here to here and done conservation of momentum for that whole time because there is a, a net external force acting on the system, which is gravity. So gravity acts on the system, so the net force is not zero. So we did have to break it up into two parts. All right, well, I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, just talk with your instructor.